Normalization is one of the most important processes to building a database that is easy to use. Unfortunately, it is one of the harder processes to master for newer database developers. The Analyze Table Wizard is a great tool to use when you want help breaking the tables up correctly or ensuring that your choices are accurate. To get to the Analyze Table Wizard, once your Access Database is open, click the Database Tool tab in the ribbon. Click the Analyze Table command just to the right of the tab in the Analyze group to start the wizard. Once the wizard dialog box opens, you will see an example of what the wizard looks for when deciding how to split up fields in a table. Once you are done checking out this section, click Next. The next section of the wizard shows you what it looks like when those tables are split from the first table. Once you're done with this section, click Next again. In the third section of the wizard, you need to select the table that you wish it to look at. So in this case, we're going to look at the table suppliers. Click Next to move to the next section. Here, we're going to leave the option Yes, Let the Wizard Decide selected, and then we'll click Next. If we agree with the way the wizard split up the table, this is where we're going to rename the table by double-clicking on the word Table 1. A smaller dialog box pops up, and this is where we type the new name of the table. Once you're done, click OK. Follow the same steps to name the second table. Once this is done, click Next. One of the primary keys for a category number is already set, so we need to set the primary key for Supplier ID. After we have selected Supplier ID, we click the button to the right with the key to mark it as the primary key. Notice a key has appeared next to Supplier ID. To get to the next section, click Next. In the last section, if you need a query created based on the split, then leave it as marked and click Finish. Otherwise, click No, don't create the query, which is what we're going to do, and click Finish. The wizard will finish up the process, open up the two new tables, and they're ready to use.